And thank you for joining us. We start here at five with a look at how President Joe Biden plans to help struggling Americans. Within the last few hours, he spoke about the dire situation many people are facing during this pandemic. Our Lauren St. Germain joining us now in studio. Lauren, I know he also signed two more executive orders today. So what were they about? So one will provide more food assistance and the other will launch a process to require federal agencies to pay their workers $15 an hour. At this point, he's taken more than 30 executive actions. He's moving along with plans to provide a path to citizenship for about 11 million people currently without legal status. That's a move some Republicans like House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy aren't too pleased about. The president is calling for a full scale wartime effort to combat the pandemic. He's looking to expand testing and we have talked about his 100 million shots in 100 days. But some critics say that isn't enough. We need more action and we need to move fast. We're not packing up our bags and, and leaving uh, on at 100 days. So all of this is happening while the Senate is working to confirm Biden's cabinet nominees. This morning, Lloyd Austin became the first African-American Secretary of Defense.